Time now for Ask the Expert. There is a new health warning this morning for expectant mothers. Product a lot of people use every day could be harming your baby. Dr. Brian Baer joining us this afternoon. You know, this is a substance that is in a lot of products that we use every day. It's alarming, actually. This product, Triclosan, and another one, Triclocarban, mm -hmm. are found in many products. They were actually introduced in the early 90s for hospital use, and they were very effective, and they started getting introduced into household products. It's incredible when you look at the list of things, from mattresses to antimicrobial soaps, which they're in about 75% of those soaps that people use currently. So it's pretty dramatic. It's in toothpaste. It's in toothpaste. And we won't say the name of the toothpaste, but uh, you definitely need to look at whatever toothpaste you're using and eliminate it if that's the case. Okay. So we all use this. And then, of course, the hand sanitizers that people seem to have on them all the time. What is the new warning about well, this? Well, the new warning was that they discovered that these substances are found in maternal blood and even umbilical cord blood. And they've actually been shown to inhibit growth and development in, in, in neonates or infants, and they've also been shown to cause antibiotic resistant for the future. And now even further studies are showing maybe even future allergies are, are possible. So it is being absorbed by the fetus is, is what the study Absolutely, shows. Absolutely, and it's fat soluble, so it stays around for a while. Talk about some of the studies that are out there. I know the companies that put this chemical in their products say it's been peer reviewed up and down and they're perfectly safe, but there is new science on the other side of that that shows it can do some really nasty things. Right. Well, the, the problem is, is that these, the data for the FDA didn't finally appear until the end of 2013, December specifically. Mm -hmm. And their advisory is, is that all of these products should be removed from the shelf by 2016 or they're going to just take them off the shelf. So the science is definitely there. This is almost like BPA, they, how they took it out of all the plastic. I, okay, so you don't want to get sick. What do we do about the hand sanitizers? You can switch your soaps, obviously. Well, it's the bottom line is the more things change, the more they stay the same. You should wash your hands thoroughly with soap for 30 minutes. Yeah. You can use- 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 we, seconds. Never go, we never go anywhere. I would prune <laughs> up a little bit there. You know, us physicians, we really work there. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but wash for at least 30 seconds. And most importantly, if you're using hand sanitizers, make sure that they just have alcohol in them and none of these chemicals. And there are uh, some consumer advocates advocacy groups out there that are trying to get this stuff yanked from store shelves before the FDA acts on it. I agree with it. Why would we wait if it's possibly harmful to all of us? Mm. All right, Dr. Right. Bear, thanks for coming in today. Have a question for our experts, send an email, ask the expert at tmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail at the number right there on your screen.